Hey guys, I'd like to review my newest gun. And here it is, the Heritage Rough Rider. Oh, look at that, it looks like it's the Old West. And even though this is a brand new gun, it is supposed to look and feel like one of those, if you want to call them cowboy style, guns from the Old West. And I believe it's actually modeled after the Colt Army 1873. I think something like that, if not that, you know, that era. It is a single action. It's a six shooter. And it happens to be a 22 caliber. What? A 22 caliber revolver? What? Now, why would you get a 22 revolver? Well, that's a good question. Uh, and there's a lot of good answers to that question, actually. Um, and I'm going to tell you exactly why I got this firearm and why I think you should too. If you're on the fence about it, if you're thinking about it, if you're looking into them, I do recommend this firearm. And here's why. My first reason is that it is an inexpensive gun to own. And when I say inexpensive, I don't mean cheap. I don't want to say this is a cheap gun. Because cheap just has a, a negative connotation to it, and that's not what I'm trying to say. I, would never, I wouldn't call this cheap. It really feels like a quality made handgun. It's, it's actually quite heavy. Um, that's one of the things that everybody says when they first pick it up. Everybody that has, has held this gun of mine, including myself, has said, wow, I didn't expect it to be that heavy. Now, I know that weight and something being heavy doesn't equal quality, but it's solid, it has a nice smooth action, and it's just, it's, it's, it feels like quality. I don't, I'm not sure I know how to describe other than saying it just, it feels like quality. But go pick one up, um, definitely. Feel it for yourself, and then you, you tell me. Um, it fires very well. Uh, I, I do have some clips of me at the range shooting it, which are going to be upcoming in this video shortly. And uh, it did a great job. I had a lot of fun with it. Oh, so how much does it cost? Yeah, I'm talking about how, how inexpensive it is, but I haven't said what it costs. This gun can cost right around $99 to $100 if you get it at the right place, at the right time of the year, the right deal, and so on. You can actually find them for that low, and I've, I've heard them being lower. Uh, they're also a bit more. This particular one was $180. So why was this 180 when I could have had it for 99? Well, here's why. First of all, this is the 22 uh, long rifle cylinder, but it actually comes with another cylinder, a 22 Magnum cylinder. It's not. It's a 22, but it is not the same cartridge. It's a 22 Magnum, the most powerful 22 on earth. That's slightly larger and um, slightly louder and packs a little more punch. Um, I heard people like it for varmints. Trappers like this gun because of that. For me, it was really... You're getting basically two guns for the price of one. And considering the price is less than one average gun, especially handgun anyways, that's some kind of fraction that I can't even do. But that's the reason why it was $180. It also came with this wooden box, this collector's box. And I just wanted that. I just thought that was nice. So, so that made the price go up a bit. It also comes with these Coco Bolo wooden grips. That's a wood, it's a tree from South America. And I know the camera is not doing it justice, but they are really beautiful. And there are other options if you don't, if you don't want that option. But I, I you got to see it in person because it kind of like it sparkles, kind of like shines. I, I can't describe it, but it is very beautiful. But I, that's what I wanted, so that made the price a little higher. And this is the six and a half inch barrel. I don't think the barrel length really has much to do with the price, but I know they come in. I think they even make a nine. They come much shorter, and they even have a nine shot cylinder. 
So your price is going to vary depending on what you want exactly. It also came with this trigger lock, which wasn't part of the price. That comes with all of their guns, and I just I think that's great. That's really nice. You don't have to go out and get one. And if you want to use one, then you got it. And it also came with a holster, which when I was a little kid, I used to call that a holdster. And I still think that that's actually a better word for for holsters. But with all those things, you add that up, and that's where you get your $180, which I still think is a deal. I still, I still think that that was actually a pretty good deal, considering I got all those things. So it's up to you. But that's my number one reason, is, is the cost of it, you, you can't beat it. You can't go out and find a handgun for that price. Revolver or something like a Glock, uh, I mean, you, you just can't. So the price is definitely, definitely incentive to go out and get this. But that's not the only reason. The other reason is that it is a 22. And that ammunition, and I will use the word now, I will say it is cheap. The ammunition, for 22, I mean, that caliber is, is cheap. There are many brands, and you can find it all over the place. So, I shot 150 rounds that first day. And it cost me a couple bucks to do. So you can take this to the gun range, you can take it in your backyard, and you can shoot it all day long. And uh, it's not going to hurt your wrist or your hand or anything like that. Because the recoil on this, I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10, I don't know, 0 to a 1. I mean, it feels like a BB gun. I mean, it doesn't kick at all. Which makes it a great handgun for learning. Or teaching somebody how to use a firearm in general. It has another feature that actually makes it great for that as well. And that's the safety. Yeah, that's not typical. And that is a big complaint when it comes to this firearm. Not a lot of people like it. They say that's not something you would have found on like a Colt. And they just don't like that. But here's my thing, um, <laughs> the gun company made the gun safer. I can't fault them for that, I mean I really can't, you know. Besides there is an advantage, uh, you can actually load the cylinder, uh, all six of them now, because that safety will, will allow you to do that, whereas before you would have to just, you know, keep it, uh, keep one of them open so you don't have an accident because what this is, is is a bar and if you can see in there and you can see that bar this flips the bar down now the hammer will hit the firing pin but when this is flipped up it's not gonna do that in fact as you can see you can see the gap yeah it will never hit that firing pin you put it down and you are you're, you're hitting the firing pin. So, just one more reason that uh, this would be a great gun for, for teaching somebody how to use a gun. So, how does it actually do on the range? Well, let's go to the range and let's find out. Let's see what this is like in action.
So we're back from the range, and how did it do? It actually did fairly well. Uh, I, I had some, some trouble getting used to this kind of sight. Like as you can see, it's basically just like a groove. And you really have to, uh, basically have to do something like this, where you almost can't even see that front blade, and then, and then that's when it's gonna be right on. And it's gonna feel like you're aiming down, but you're not. But you're going to be right on. So, once you get the hang of it, though, it's not a big deal. And of course, switching the cylinder out was really easy. You press the button, pull this pin, and your cylinder pops right out. So then you can put your 22 Magnum in, put your 22 long rifle in, and you're ready to go. And it also helps uh, clean these things when you take them apart like that. So, overall, how do I feel about this revolver? pretty good. I uh, do recommend it. If you're on the fence, if you're not sure, uh, I say you should go for it. I really enjoy this. I've had a lot of fun with it already. And I want to remind you that the overall reason, the number one reason that I got this gun was for fun. And it is fun. It is just a fun gun have. It's fun to shoot because it's just a 22. It doesn't cost much, which, you know, saving money is always fun, I guess. But that's why I recommend it. If you want a gun that's just going to be fun, this is for you. So continue to, uh, you know, do your research. But overall, I, I give it a thumbs up. I really do. The Heritage Rough Rider 22 caliber combo that's what this is so so check it out if you haven't and uh, if you're on the fence really really consider it well thanks for watching